day. I might use the point two again. Strum up some inspiration. What can I what can I go for? Where this live starts behind it doesn't actually start when I say it does. <coughs> anyway, yeah, I did one of these for the first time in ages yesterday. Every Sunday, I think I might do. I'll try and do one or two of these. I actually planned one out, but didn't get around to doing it. Quite like this one. I haven't done anything like that in a while. Uh, what else can we do? I don't know. I might just go for just a normal. One of these things. Yeah, I'm just going to, yeah. The whole point of this book. I keep forgetting the whole point of this book was just to do what you want. Excuse me. All right, let's put some music on. Fact. I might do that from now on. I might use these every single time for my. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Just decided right now.
Couldn't move up there, so my shit air isn't in. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I uh, get copyrighted for whistling a song.
I wanted to give you a like, I'd watch for... <laughs> no worries, left-handed painter. Thank you so much for popping in. And really appreciate the like as well. You getting anything nice from Tesco? A bit of dinner? Something like that? I wanted to get on... Um... I wanted to get on, what do you call it? <clears throat> TikTok early, but too much gubbins around the house to do. But no, thank you so much for popping in, man. Oh, that sounds good, pork joint. Better than what I had. I didn't fancy what the wife and kids are having, so I just had like a bacon roll and a bowl of noodles. <clears throat> a right mishmash of stuff. Oh, sounds good though, a pork joint. No, we're off to the old uh, Tescali on um, Wednesday. Hopefully get some more deliciousness then. <coughs> Monday's usually a shit day for me, but... Like yourself, trying to do more, more work. So to, I'm going to make sure tomorrow, do my, you get up properly, do my chores, what needs doing, get a proper sketchbook drawing in, and I'm back on um, TikTok finishing my drawing. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta uh, you gotta resist the temptation. Yeah, we had some bacon that needed eating, so I just thought I'll sling that on a roll. Not the healthiest of dinners, but Monday's usually our sort of crap food day. I'll make like a prop. Proper chicken pasta or something tomorrow. I need to draw like this more often. I've got a few canvases to do and some resin work. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see them. <coughs> How long do your um, pieces normally take? Because mine, I'm starting to get better at time management a little bit because I can tell roughly how long drawings are going to take. Like, these ones always take a couple of hours, like, depending on how complex I want to make it. This one's probably going to be a while. I remember doing... Which, where is it? There was two. That took forever. I think my eyes are too big for my belly on them. Where are they? So it was... That one took way longer than I thought it would. Um, that took about two and a half to three hours. And then that one... I didn't even get to finish it. I think I got maybe that far and I had to kind of finish it off along with this drawing and it took flipping ages. Uh, I went out of my way to have a burned mouth. <laughs> nice. Enough wrong with the good old Bernie mats. <coughs> Yeah, I have I have decided that when I sell my first piece I'm gonna use the money from that to buy acrylic paint, I think. There's a couple of projects I wanna start with paints. Yeah, 
but my drawings normally take about two hours, so I'm kind of time managing it around there. And I've got no idea how long the paints will take. Depending on what style I'm using. Three hours, that's not bad, you know. Well, I don't know, actually. I, I, what would you say? Like... Because they look like they should take they should take longer than that. Like this fucking thing here. It's a gobble over my page. This one took twenty eight hours. This one. I got off. Yeah, that took. I estimated about twenty hours on that. But that took, ended up taking 28. But that's... A lot of it was probably because I took the long way around doing that. So I could have maybe got it down to 25. This one was hard to say because I didn't time it like an idiot. But I think this one took... Probably close to 20, I think. Yeah, but they're the, they're the first two that I've got done. The next one I'm doing, I'm working on, is this one. Um, and that's what I'll be live streaming tomorrow, uh, filling in all the details around the edges. Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure the details are done properly. I'm going to ink in the shapes and then I'm going to pencil in sort of the sections of it and see how we go. But I that one probably won't take as long. That'll probably be about 15 I want a pain come, but I don't like the price. Really? What'd you do to cure it? See, I don't think of stuff like that. I'm just, I'm a such a noob when it comes to paints. Like I've got a couple of mini canvases down here, so I'll probably need to get some spray or something, won't I? That's epic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like I've got um, oh, that's a frame. So I got some of these. So like me being a noob, I just thought I'll get some paint pens or paints, just slap a bit of a bit of drawing down and you know wait for it to dry. But I don't know. I think yours. I don't. I don't even know what, what paints do you use because it's not. It's I don't. I don't know. I don't know the name of the style of it. Like I've, I follow a few people who do a similar style. To, to yourself. I don't know what um, the style would be called or what even paints you would use for that. Nice warm room to uh, secure it, just leave it dry. That's one of the reasons I've, I've decided not to use oil paints when I decide to do something because um, it, they take so long to dry. And I haven't got like a great space for allowing painters to dry. These new pens are nice, I like them a lot.
<coughs> Canvas borders are good for your stuff. I use acrylic. Ah, uh, okay. I, I imagine it's the oil that's uh, putting the 30 hour price tag on that. <laughs> What I wanted to do with the my three is uh, I spoke to um, an artist friend. I forget her name, but speaking to a lot of artists on uh, TikTok these days. But she does like um, I think she, I think she uses paint pens, but it's like intricate kind of line work, uh, like dotted lines almost. I don't know if I can give an example. There's anything similar, but it's kind of like so those lines and then dot 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 line dot dot dot. But she does like really intricate, um, kind of works. And I'll speak it to her, and she gets her frames from uh, IKEA. I didn't even think to look for them because what I wanted to do was like have a paper frame around it. I don't necessarily want like a proper picture frame, but just a paper frame, and then send it away in um obviously a, a hard back envelope. But I've got to look into it. A dairy Lee cheese triangle. Absolutely, Graham. You were getting a bit posh with the cheese selections, weren't you? Some flipping Wensley Vale and all that shit. Just ignore him, uh, left-handed painter. He's he's my IRL friend, <laughs> and he taunts me with cheese. The range are good for stuff. Yeah, I forget about the range. I always forget to go and look in the range. There's one not too far from me as well. Uni, how's it going, man? How have you been, my friend? Had a good weekend? A Brie. Yeah, Brie's good. I like... Um, what's my favourite? Extra Strong. Mature, no, no, extra strong, extra mature, you know, the white cheese. Absolutely slather the guts off a uh, spag ball on that. Heavy snowfall. Really? Dead hand, how's it going, my man? We all have good weekends. Yeah, it was flipping freezing last night in our house. That upset me.
Yeah, me and uh, LHP were just talking about uh, sort of the work we've got to do, and he was talking about the oh, shit about his process and. Uh, canvases and things like that like the mix that he uses like it's really like really interesting process because like I don't know how to do stuff like that so like I've said a few times anytime I see an artist who does completely different work to me but it looks amazing I'm always interested in like the process or what they do and like cause sometimes I think you've got to have so much patience to do it as well Like a completely different skill set. Like a lot of um, artists that have popped up on my For You page have been uh, animal uh, artists. I'd say out of every type of art there is, animals are probably my kryptonite. Like I've moaned about anatomy in the past, but... You know, I stretch, I can do it, like, just not to the standard I'd like. But, um, yeah, animal drawings, animal portraits, things like that, just way out of my league. So whenever I see people do it, I'm always amazed by it. It's like... Because, like, I could do the whole thing of drawing the shapes, not the things but I just I'd end up putting them all together it'd be way off yeah got a good group in today gents and well there could be a lady watching and they've not commented I'm thinking of doing some mini pieces as well. I could draw a cat. <laughs> LHP, there you go. Yeah, I might do because I've got these two. Yeah, you need to keep me out of the works because anytime I go in there and I see stuff, I just want to buy it all. But I got um sort of these canvases, so I might just do a couple of mini pieces. I got these as well. Um, like these were mainly bought just for practice and messing about on, but I might, I might do a few mini pieces on these. Like, and the good thing about these canvases, if you, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I don't know if it picks it up. Like, there's, there's like almost like a grid built into it. Look, perfect for me, so I can just use that to draw, to kind of draw out the initial picture. But yeah, I might do some mini canvas. I might do some mini, mini ones. But yeah, I think that could work out really well for me. So I might, um, might do that.
Reminds me of my 3D textures that I put on. When are we going to sell it? Well, because I haven't got the website up yet, and the plan was I wasn't going to do the website until I'd sold at least one piece. I might just do um, like a shout out on my socials just to say, look, I'll do like a direct one-time transaction. Um, and then from that point onwards, I'll say, anytime you want to buy anything of mine, go to this website. But yeah, I'll just I'll just kind of do a shout out on the social and say, look, here's my three pieces. I just need one of them sold. DM details here. Um, get it sorted out and then... <laughs> and then from that point on, I can just... Get everything else sorted out from there, but it just takes one. I just need the one sale, just one. Yeah, I need to write down a list of all the projects I want to do. Because there's a lot. That I will be doing over time. Yeah. Now mm. have a look at fine board canvas. Oh, my ear. I'm definitely going to be doing more black light canvas. Yeah. The black and white one. So I've not actually done the math on it yet. So the the final time for it. In fact, I need to add it. I didn't put the last. Because like, I got this book for Christmas. <laughs> And I note it down. Oh, I don't know if you can pick that up. All my times. But I didn't do the last one. So, so God, the thing is, I don't know what you should charge an hour as an artist. I mean, my guess was about 200. Or two, between 200 and 250. That was kind of my guess, wasn't it? Um, so let's just have a quick look. Um, create tools live. Is it view all? So, what was the most recent one? 31st, was it? Okay, so yeah, I was just one day I was missing, so. We'll do two hours. And then the last one was an hour and a half. So the total time, I said 28, didn't I? It might be a bit more than that. 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 25 and a half, 25, 40, 26, 20, 27, 05, 27, 35, 28, 05, 28, 35, 28, 45, 28, 55, 29 and a half hours. Or 29, 20. 
uh, so 29 hours. We'll just, I'll call it 29 and a half hours, but I don't know how I'd work it out. Like, so if I did, I don't know. Where's my calculator? I, I don't know, I'd have to Google that. But I don't know. Yeah, check out um, Dead Hand stuff. It's really, really good. Really, really good. And likewise with um, LHP. <coughs> like I said, I'm always interested in um, finding new artists and seeing what work they do. There's so many as well. Like, you kind of forget how big. So how many people are on TikTok and how many of them are going to be artists and like it's just by chance if your work goes viral or if it blows up or who you run into. Um, like I've said before, what I'd love to do is I'd love to, obviously I can't do this now, but I'd love to purchase a piece of artwork from every single one of my favourite artists like on TikTok, Instagram and, and whatnot, and kind of have, have like an art wall and pin all their handles, like their socials next to it, and then do like a video of it saying, look, there's so many amazing artists out there. I got this piece from this person, this piece from this person. Go check them out, go support them. And everyone's sort of followers and uh, sort of fans can just kind of filter onto each other and discover new work. It's, I think it'd be a good way to connect just because the algorithms on social media are poo poo like I'd love to do that Yeah, but I do really feel bad for you, Ernie, on that. That's, it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, no worries, LHP. Just uh, search for Dead End on my friends list. He'll be on there. We were just saying, only about... Um, just chatting about what I'm going to charge. 225, yeah. <laughs> I think that was my first estimate. I'll, pro I'll proper maths it up just to see if... But the thing is, how on earth, how, I don't even know how you, how I would judge judge if it's fair or not fair. Like I don't, it's so hard to put a value. On my work, like my first guess was based on how good I think my work is, the time it's taken. I mean, the first one was a rough estimate, but it, it was mainly against other artists that I'd seen and what they charge. It was mainly the same size. Like, if it was mainly um, sort of A4 slash 9 by 12 pieces. And it was around about, depending on what they painted it was a, or drawn, it was around about 150 to 300. And I thought, well, I don't think my piece is quite as good or detailed as this person's. Somewhere in the middle, maybe. That's how I initially judged it, but Dead Hand and a few other. Uh, like one of my IRL friends said about, um, you know, judge it on like the time you spent on it and like what you would charge hourly. But I, I don't even know what I would charge hourly. That's the thing. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Like, say if you were to charge, I don't know. So if I were to charge £10 an hour, that would be, what, 290 Well, no, it doesn't really work out that way, does it? Yeah, well, well, well yeah, 290 £290 
well, it'd be 300, it'd be 295 pound. Be good for us all to do something collaborative. Yeah, that would be sick. I'd love that. Like, I don't know, I don't know how we'd do it. Like, like if you had like three square canvases and do one of each or something and then sell it as like a big piece. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ofsky. Yeah, no worries, dude. Get yourself off to, to, uh, to Scarly LHP. Um, like I said, I'm going to be on here for a good hour at least. I'm gonna, I've been on 40, oh, at least an hour and a half more I'll be on here, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no, I, th I think that really, really early on when there were like favours, I didn't, like I did a picture of um, the Hulk and Spider-Man digitally for my sister. Um, and I kind of did family rates because she said, oh no, I'll, I'll, you know, whatever it is you charge is what I'll buy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But I kind of did family rates, so I think I charged like 20 quid or something for it. But I didn't, I didn't mind that much because that was my sister, so I didn't really care. Like, I'm not going to go mad charging her. But I think I did one at 100. Um... That one, the thing is, this one will probably be a bit more because I've covered the whole page. Like, and the detail in it is much higher. Like I said, the, the coverage is more, the time, therefore, is more. So, like, if I were to do a straight 10 an hour, this would be 295 quid. That's what I charge for this. And then this one would be 200. So, I, I mean, that's the best I can kind of do. I find you can't put a value on the art itself. I based on time and effort. Yeah, that that I I kind of did it. I'm kind of shouting here because my headphones are in, so I can't properly hear myself. Um, I did it. Like I say, I did it based on previous work that I'd seen, based on the same size. So it was like someone who'd used a similar uh, sort of size paper and what they charged for it, kind of thing. And it was all of it was around about the two hundreds, three hundreds, one fifties. Again, depending on the detail of that individual piece. Um, but I think it's good in a way because this one, I don't think is going to take as long. I think this one will genuinely take between fifteen and twenty hours because it's not as detail heavy. It's going to be more colour sort of heavy. It's going to be neon colours. The background will be a bit more detailed, but. I genuinely don't think that one will take as long. So I reckon that one will probably be between... If, I, if for example, I'm going on the ten hour, uh, £10 an hour rate, that one will genuinely take about... Uh, be about 150 quid. And it's it's kind of good in a way, because then I've got three pictures at three different price points. So one at 150 for example, one at 200 one at 295 So even within those three pieces there's like a bit of variety if somebody wants to spend a bit more um they can but like i said i just need one to go that's it just one and then i'm away and i'll be really happy with that oh, in fact i'm not gonna lie to you when if slash when i sell my first one i'm gonna be flipping ecstatic i'm gonna be absolutely buzzing I mean, one for definite, preferably two, because the first one, I'll all the money I'll be using to buy supplies and stuff, but then, then the second one will just go straight into... Um, straight into the bank to pay for bills and all that stuff. But just once that first one goes, like I'll just feel like an immense weight off my shoulders, like the pressure to come off. I'll be like, I finally sold a piece. It just makes it. It just makes it feel like I've actually started now. I'm like, right now I'm away.
Like I have sold bits of artwork before, but they've all been commissions. Like someone has asked me to do something. So it's not my personal work. It's kind of their personal stuff. Which has been fine, but I want to sell my work. Like I want to sell my personal works. Promote, promote, promote. <clears throat> That's it. I do need to probably do... I do need to do more. Promote, 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 I guess. I oh, will definitely look into that. I will get there. Why are you waiting? The more it's out there, the better the odds are selling. <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean, and I have thought about that. Like, I think one of the things that kind of moved me into doing it this way is because I've not looked into other websites, but Shopify, that's like one of the big ones. For example, like, and it's geared towards selling like your product, it doesn't necessarily have to be art, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> the shop of I and there was another one that a friend of me told me a friend of mine told me about and I can't remember the name of it I'll have to ask him um, I, I've made the decision just I'm definitely not going to use Etsy I just don't I, I just don't like the idea of a middleman and like the, you know we'll get some money for your I'm like no it's fine I'll just pay for a for a website kind of thing and with Shopify the first three months it's a pound a month. So the, my thinking is, because I can't, and then after that it's £20 a month. So my thinking is, instead of burning through the three months at a pound each, where I, or even if it's just a month, like if I've got one of those to sell, keep the £1 a month for as long as I can. So I'm paying, it's, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to word this in a way that makes sense. So, Instead of, say, setting up the website now at a pound a month, I'm, and then I've got a month where I'm paying a pound, and then I go through two months, and I still haven't sold anything yet because I'm still working on it. Like, nothing's on the website yet. And, and, and again, the whole thing hinges around the fact that I don't have a printer to make prints out of these things, and I can't buy one yet until one of these things are sold. Because um, I, do, I do remember you saying um, with your website, you still get traffic towards it. One thing that I need to do better is taking advantage of Pinterest because I get a lot of traffic through there. Um, well, not a lot, but at first I get quite a lot. Um, and I've only put, I don't know, maybe 20 of my drawings on that. Um, so I need to go back and and do that and, you know, like you say, kind of go back to it and take advantage of it. Um, but I'm... I'm going to see if I can sell one of these just by word of mouth on my social media, 
on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, just to see if I can sell one. If I'm able to just sort of sell one in that manner, then it's like, right, now I can and put up. It's, it's just basically a, a, a cost thing, like, because the only one I've seen is Shopify. And they had that thing where it's a pound a month for three months. I didn't want to burn through it and then I'm paying £20 a month when I've not really got anything up. So that was kind of one of the motivations for it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's the best way to do, but that's just my kind of thought process on it because I don't have any pieces up yet. And a lot of what I'm going to be selling are prints, but I don't have the means to print anything yet. Um... Again, I don't know if that's the best way or the, the to do it or the best route, but in my mind, it kind of makes logical sense. Like I'm sure someone might pipe up and say, you know, maybe this is a more cost-effective way to do it. But it was just it was just purely for that reason because a lot of my sellable work is going to be for prints and it's just I don't have the print yet and in order to get the print I need to buy a printer in order to buy a printer I need to buy I need to sell one of these like I said it feels like a flipping side quest on a video you know on a video game in order to unlock this path you have to do this task first you know sell one of these to open up the skill tree for printer kind of thing. it feels a bit like that but um I suppose the shortest answer is it's just it's just money like I just want to try and do it in the most cost-effective way. And like I said, I only need one to go. Like I'm not saying I need to sell all three, just one. If I sell one of those originals, then that's it. I can just I can go straight to getting the website up because the money I'd make from one of the originals is the money I'd use to buy scanner slash printer. Um, and then that would be it. I could just go from there. I don't know if that made any sense. I'm not great at explaining things, but that's just my thought process. I don't, again, if there's a better way, I'd, I'd love to know. <laughs> For some reason, I can't use chat on my PC. I have to switch my phone. That is very, very odd. If there is anyone in here who's not part of the usual gang, please, uh, well, first, thank you for joining and do us a favour and drop a like and subscribe and all that stuff. And check me out on my other socials. It does help greatly. I absolutely love drawing this. I, I need to draw more like this. I don't draw enough. You just love drawing it and it's infectious. <laughs> I do love drawing. It is my favourite thing in the world to do. Well, top three.
I'd love to do a collage of something like this, like just do loads of individual shapes and layer it up. It does look like Borg. The Buig. Nasty bastards. Might watch First Contact again. I've not, I've not watched that in a while. Yeah, it's the, um, I thought the Borg in the film looked better than the one in the show. The one in the show, the very first iteration of it, it looked a little bit, it still looked good. But I don't know, it looked a bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more industrial, the first iteration of it. Where in the film, it looked a bit more cyberpunky, which I thought was a better fit for the Borg. That's just personally though. I had a nightmare about the ball assimilating me once. <laughs> right, I explored an Enterprise model from... Oh, nice. Nice. Do they do any Lego Star Trek? I don't think they do, do they? Because it's all it's many Star Wars stuff, isn't it? I'm sure someone's done like a custom Star Trek thing. But... I mean, like the Lego store themselves don't sell anything. Any Lego branded um, things, what I mean. Yeah, I didn't think they did. You should see my ship in game right now. All these people off there. Bloody hell. It's the biggest problem with gaming is uh, the time investment. As I'm discovering with Breath of the Wild.
That's a bit better. Blue Bricks make Star Trek Lego, although they're not official. <coughs> Who is that? Blue Bricks. Never heard of those. Heard of Mega Blocks. Yeah, they won't be letting go of that, will they? Oof. Bastards at Prime have snuck it in ads. Oh, have they? Fuck's sake. Yeah, it's kind of split, isn't it? Like, I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but TNG, all the Star Trek series are on Netflix, or they were. Like, so Star Trek, TNG, Enterprise. Deep Space Nine, is it Voyager and Discovery? They're all on Netflix, or they were. And then Picard, is it the Lower Decks? And uh, the animated one, or is the animated one the Lower Decks? Yeah, the Lower Decks is the animated one. Strange Worlds. And the films were on... Like, was it Paramount Plus or something? One of the add-ons. <clears throat> I did try to post that, uh, but it wasn't available to me. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sympathetic towards 
companies complaining about piracy because like you're you're asking for it with it's like like I'm a football fan right and to watch Premier League games it's spread across Sky Sports TNT Sports I don't know if BT BT still have any in fact no they don't that went to TNT I think Amazon Prime but I know that's ending so it's like Sky is just through the roof expensive. I don't know how much it is to, for TNT and Prime get like one game of every two months. And you still can't watch every game. It's like if your team's playing and like nowhere shows it, I'm like... I'm so, but for example, like some obscure... Like American channel does. It's like, I'm sorry, but you're just asking for it. Like, if you're going to price your customers out of stuff, you are just asking for trouble. So I've got the Paramount subscription now. That subscription is just rotting away. The Paramount subscription, I actually think, is really, really good. We had to get rid of it because just it, we were just cutting back on stuff. We, you know, was a bit of a luxury. Yeah. The, the problem with streaming, like, streaming is awesome for, like, you know, watching your stuff. But the problem with it is that everyone wants to slice the pie. So it's getting more and more fragmented. So every company is saying, well, I want some money from that. Because I like, used to get a load of stuff on Netflix, but then say, I don't know, for example, Universal might pop up and say, well, I want some of that pie. So we're not going to allow you to stream on Netflix. We've got our own streaming service. Disney did it. And it's just it's just unreasonable, I think. Especially with the amount of films that you've got. Like I've still got a load of DVDs, right? And the reason I'm not getting rid of any of them is because I cannot find either I can't find the film I want to watch anywhere, or if I do find it, it's an obscure subscription service that's like an extra ten quid a month. And it's just what's the point? Like And then they're going to be started on the whole bollocks of Netflix not sh you know showing different things, f different countries. That to me, that's something that asks for it. Like that's why VPNs kind of get in on it. Like there's absolutely no reason at all why Netflix decides to show like a load of different films in America than they do the UK, and then in Asia, the it's another different, com completely different set of films. It's infuriating. Paramount Steve has owned, so it's like the hub for Star Trek. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not to say that I don't think, obviously, if you have the rights to that sort of show legally, like, you should be paid, but it's... You do wonder, like, how much of it is just out of pure greed and what are you doing for the customer, like... Like, are you just getting paid purely because you got the creator to sign a piece of paper to say your name? I mean, I don't know exactly how publishing and licensing and all that works properly. So I could be completely mis... You know... Misconstruing how it all works and... All that kind of stuff. Because I remember there used to be a big thing with public game uh, game publishers. Like, do they really deserve like the demands that they ask for, kind of thing? Yeah, it's uh, that's what I mean. Though it's like everyone wants a slice, so it's like no. Instead of getting a bit of money because you're. Watching it through Netflix, we're not going to allow Netflix to have it. Come and watch it on our own streaming service. It's like, do you really think people are going to buy that? Like, I know Apple TV did it. Apparently, Apple have got quite a good, uh, good set of shows on now, though. Like, well, Ted Lasso being the main one. I think there's that, that one with Jennifer Aniston. What's it called? The morning show, is it, or something? 
That's meant to be pretty good. I remember um, when Battlestar Galactica was on Netflix. I really wanted to watch that. I think I got maybe two, three episodes in. And that flipping disappeared. I've not, I've not actually seen Battlestar Galactica since. I don't know where I can even watch that. Probably some flipping extension on Prime somewhere. I'm ordering ice cream to myself up <laughs> Do it. What flavour are you going to get? Anything salted caramel will tickle me perfectly well. Slow horses, I've heard that's good, yeah. Yeah. Like I say, obviously, legally, it's not justifiable, but sometimes companies, it's just like you're, you're begging your fans to hate you or... <laughs> you are begging the consumers to like absolutely smash you to be honest again I'm not saying that you should it's pirating is wrong I'm just saying I've never pirated anything honest <laughs> it's one of my best mate's birthdays today and he's getting abused for it <laughs> the way it should be <clears throat> but sometimes delay half 12 in the morning is it oh yeah let's see dead hand knows what's up so anything salted caramel honestly you could just inject it into my veins at this point absolutely love salted caramel flavored stuff honestly you could spread it on a dustbin lid and i'd probably still eat it because i'm that much of a skank I'm not even joking. It is actually disgraceful how much I love salt. Just anything caramelly. But salt and caramel especially, in particularly, get inside me. My teeth are too sensitive for me to consume anything sweet. That's really sad. I feel so sorry for you on that one. I'm quite fortunate in that um, my teeth can hack it. 
And I had a bad tooth locked out as well recently, so I can not worry about stuff like that as much. Brush your teeth regularly, kids. Hundred percent. Mine was quite annoying though, because um, what happened with mine? It was a wisdom tooth. It, my wisdom tooth had grown through completely, so I thought, ah, oh, there's no problems because there was no pain. But the dentist told me, he says it's grown, it's too close to your other tooth. So there was like virtually no gap between those two teeth. So food kept getting stuck in between. So I was constantly toothpicking food out of it. And he said, eventually it's just gonna, it might take years, but it, it will just rot a hole in your teeth because you're not, you're never going to be able to get in there. So I just yank it out. And I was like, okay, I put it off. Like I was like, mm, nervous about it. And then I eventually had it done and it, it was shit. <laughs> Like it was not a pleasant experience, but it's fine. After a couple of weeks, you sound. I'd say the first day is bad, and then after that, you kind of you're okay. Like it's not. It's not like the worst thing in the world. Excuse me, God, I sound like I'm on drugs. I'm sniffing all the time. I'm not YouTube, do not ban me. It's just sniffing. I was just sneezing, it's made me sniff.
Yeah, that, that that would be my... Like when you hear people ask about their superhero or superpower selection, mine's teleportation. <coughs> it's not super strength or anything like that. It's teleportation. Give me that. Anything to enable my laziness further. Well, I can get behind te teleport to food and stuff, not humans though. Yeah, I've seen that. I remember that episode of Star Trek. It's the one where I'm pretty sure, is it Geordi? And what's her face? The turncoat. Well, spoiler alert <laughs> on that one in the end. And they get, is it is it the Vulcans? Not the Vulcans, the Romulans maybe? They kind of, they're fudging about with like teleportation, aren't they? To try and make themselves, oh, I can't remember exactly. You, Uni, you'll know better than me. You, I think you've got a better knowledge on TNG than I have. But you know the one I'm on about, right? And there's like a gag in it where... Riker, he keeps going on about what he's going to say at their funerals because him and her didn't get along. Oh, what the hell's the name of the episode? Well, it's also a real... Uh, would you be... Yeah, it's all these questions. I mean, I suppose technically you would because it's you broken up and then... reassembled, so it still is you. It's like it what I suppose it's like if like your arm got chopped off and then it got reattached. It's you know, that's not a different person's arm, it's still your arm. Am I thinking about that correctly? Is it's not quite the is it the ship of is it I wanna say Thenius, but it's not. It was in Oh, I've just read about these, like paradoxes and stuff, where you keep reassembling you you keep taking away panels of the ship. Is it Ship of Theseus? Theseus? Oh, I can't remember. We would never know if it's the previous you or a new one with the same memories and everything. I see. I always thought it was it was you broken up and then reassembled. That's what I thought it was. Is that not right? I don't know, it's very, very complicated. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it would be.
In Star Trek, kind of, yeah. I mostly, yeah, real life. I mean, I know I've read or heard scientists say they've they've already teleported stuff, but it's like not teleport in the sense that they've taken like a cow and you know put it in a box and then it's teleported somewhere else. It's like, is it an atom or a particle or something? I don't want to say it's to do, it's in the sort of realm of quantum physics. But again, mem memory kind of lets me down here. I can't remember exactly the, the thing I read or watched on it. No doubt Brian Cox was hosting it. Isn't she lovely? Like in one way you were constantly replacing the apps in your body, you're not the person that you were four years ago. Yeah, is, is that the, um, like every, I thought it was seven years, like every seven years it's a new you. That's all it takes for everything to, um, to get replaced. I don't know. I'm not an expert on such things, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Oh, we've just dropped under halfway for um, battery. We're doing well here. We've actually done quite a lot in an hour and a half. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Isn't she lovely?
Ow. Isn't she lovely? Oh, stretching. Get. Shit, I'm just accidentally. Pfft, idiot. I'm always doing that. I'm like picking up my pens at stupid angles and then I end up keying in something. It's fine. I mean, thankfully, I've got a picture of it before, and it's just a little mark. It's fine. And I can clean it up on a printer, because that is going to be a print. It's fine. If I wonder... I'll try something. There. Can I do that? Can I just quickly do a little There we go, good as new. Make sure I don't lean on it now. It do be like that sometimes. Hmm, yes, me be a clumsy bar steward.
Nice save. Yeah, look at that. You can barely see. You can barely notice it. It's fine. Uh, you want to see more? Calamitous. Scenarios. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the problem with drawing on this side of the book. I need one of those, I've seen people have got them, it's like a block with a space cut out in the middle to put books and like if you're using, if you're drawing from a sketchbook to put it in the middle so you've got something to rest on.
My children are terrorising each other. Just bugging me. Cream acquired going dark. So jealous. I need to get some snacks for when I finish here. I'll be done by what time are we on? Thirty eight percent left. I'll be done by about eight. And then when I'm done, I think I'm gonna watch a bit of telly and do a workout. Need to stay consistent, keeping fit. I'm getting old, so I need to look after myself a bit more. That's not to say like I'm not going to st stop eating stuff that I like, just not as much of it, and make more of an effort to work out. I think. So I'm just resting my hand a minute. Let's move this down. I know I'm jumping about between areas, but I'll just see something. I'm thinking, oh, I'll do this to this bit. And I'll change this bit here. One of the reasons I've decided to use this pen as well, these new pens, one, I actually really genuinely like them. It has gone down on the paper very nice. Like this one is, like I love the way it went down. Make it sound like it's gone down like that. <coughs> um, and more importantly, um, if I link these, so when I post a picture on TikTok, I can link the pens onto the description or whatever it is. And if somebody buys them, then you know I get a little sonsin sonsin for my efforts. You know what I mean?
yeah, I will do a big version of this as well. I really like this one. And I'll probably colour it. I don't know how I'd colour it though. I'd probably do the... In fact, I might do kind of greys. Um, or, yeah, I might do sort of greys in the middle. And then as it sort of pops outwards, I'll do... See, I'd like to try and paint one of these. But I'd have to kind of do it in reverse. And what I mean by that is... I'd have to paint the blocks first. So if I say pick, if I've got a canvas, um, and like have a dark grey, or not even a dark grey, a mid grey, grey in all the blocks, and then I'd have to kind of maybe paint the lines around it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to maybe do a couple of test runs, see what I can come up with. Demolish all that. <laughs> ice cream. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream.
looked at this one properly. How are we going? I do quite like the look of this one. This has been one of my favourites for a while. Oh, I don't know. I really like this one, actually, that I did. In fact, I'm talking out my ass. I actually really like these, the ones that I did since I've been back. I wasn't sure about this one at first because it didn't take that long. And I thought, is it enough? But that old adage, less is more. But I really like that one. That's what the 29 hour piece was based on loosely. And I really like this one as well. Just saying, just saying. I've really had fun drawing this one actually. Target is down. Roger that. Love it. Love it. What brand was it? What um yeah, what make of ice cream was it? I'd love to know. Itchy eye, itchy eye, itchy Hagen Dars. Oh, what a brand. Hagen Dars. Hey. 
S1 is nearly done, you know, didn't you know? If you're watching, um, G meow fine point, do a 0.03, please. Please. What the hell? My eyes are really blurry. Ow.
ice cream coma. Mate, I would be. Might not do a background for this one. Oh. Right, we are finito. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. How long did that take? Two hours 17, yeah, that's about standard. Had loads of fun with that, really good, fun drawing, really fun stream as well, guys. Thank you very much. But I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, go and uh, quickly take a picture. Bring it up to camera more a bit. Look at that, there you go. <whistles> yeah, I've re I'm really liking my work in this book recently. Um, so yeah, that's another one in the bag, number 41. I can't believe I've done 41 of these already. That was the first one, wasn't it? 
Yeah. 41. So, uh, yeah, so this week I'll be back on TikTok Live with this thing. Uh, I'll be on as much as I can. Uh, I might do a couple of little bits in between, but it'll be mostly that. Um, as for the YouTube stuff, usual time, Friday, between 5 and 6. Usually around half 5, 6. You, you all know the drill. But uh, thank you for your kind words, gents. It was a really nice, fun stream today. Uh, yeah, just the usual stuff. Friday back on here, and in the week I'll be on TikTok. Oh, and in fact, no. Yeah, I'll try and get... Um, I need to really try hard to get some sketchbook stuff done, so... Have a look out on YouTube for some time lapses. Um, and what I mean is... Yeah, so, you know, these ones. I've not done one for a while. And the last couple I did... Um, where are they? They were okay. Like, I don't mind that one as much. They were all right, but they weren't... They weren't amazing. They were just okay. So I'm going to try and, you know, improve on that. But yeah, I don't know what day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Whenever I get an hour or a couple of hours before I get the kids, um, I'll try and sling one up. But until then... Uh, have a good evening and all that, and I'll uh, see you throughout the week. If not, I'll see you Friday. Um, have a good one. See you in a bit.